Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. I come to you today with a thank you. I've recently surpassed a thousand viewers and I want to say thank you. Thank you to, the, to those who have subscribed, to those who watch, to those who participate, who comment, whether it's a positive comment, whether it's questions, thank you. I enjoy building these kits and I enjoy making these videos to help others and it adds to that enjoyment if I hear that I am helping others and if I hear of a way that I can improve I will try. As a way to say thank you I am very seriously considering doing a sort of giveaway. I've gathered together a few things like a very inexpensive drill bit set that you can use to shape parts. I've already got some uh, step mandrels and I've got some of the round nose pliers or in this yeah round nose pliers is what these are actually called I've heard different names for I uh, want to get up a I want to get a fascinations tool set and include that in the set that I give away I'm thinking about grabbing another set of tweezers and maybe a couple other things like a, a pick set or forceps or or there's I, I call them forceps there Hemostats, I believe, is another name for them. But I want to put a set together, and I haven't quite got all the things, and I haven't quite decided, and I have a little bit of idea of how I want to do the contest. So once I've got that more put together, I will make a short video that explains it. Um, I want to be able to include everybody, but unfortunately I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that just simply because the cost of shipping and the complications of shipping anywhere in the world I'm still deciding how much I'm going to limit it. I'd like to not limit it at all but I may not have a choice. Also since I'm making this video I thought I'd give a little bit of an update. I've had requests to see my collection and I've put it off and I've put it off and I've put it off and so I've gathered everything together because this is a bit of a task. These models are strewn around my house. I have them in the basement, I have them in the dining room, the living room, my bedroom, they're on bookcases, mantles, hutches, desks, on shelves for video games. So I've taken the time and I've set up a little shelf and I've gathered them all together and I'm going to go over them very briefly. Um, most of the models that I have, I have some duplicates I have more than one Millennium Falcon. I've made more than one electric guitar. I give one away. I've got a couple other things like the One World Trade Center. I've done duplicates. But I'm just going to go briefly through all the kits that I've made. I laid my kits out on this small shelf that I have. There are too many kits from the all fit on there at one time. So I'll start with many of my newer kits. Up here we have the insects. I'm only missing the praying mantis, I have the scorpion, the stag beetle, the dragonfly, and the tarantula. And then if we move down a little bit, you can see the buildings and some uh, space related craft. We have the Empire State, One World Trade, Eiffel Tower, Leaning Tower, Pisa, um, Hamaji Castle, this is Big Ben, the Iconics version. Back there in the back you have the Lunar Rover, Hubble Telescope, Lunar Module, Sherman Tank, and kind of behind Big Ben is the Tiger Tank. Down here we have the ships, the Titanic, the Arizona, the Black Pearl, the Golden Hind, and then we have the De Havilland Tiger Moth. I believe that is the F-15 Eagle. We have a couple of F-2 Lightning back there, or F-35 uh, F Lightning too. There's a Huey back here. That one in the middle is an F-22 Raptor. That's a Blackbird SR-71. And then we have a F-4U Corsair and a P-51 Mustang. Next up I have some of the older sets like Star Trek, comic book stuff, Transformers. And up here we have the vintage movie projector. 
an electric guitar and a bass, electric bass guitar, which love to fall over. We have a steam locomotive, a 65 Ford Mustang, and on the end is a Ferris wheel. If we come down just a bit, we have up front the Star Trek collection, the Enterprise D, the original Enterprise Klingon Borcha, and the Klingon Bird of Prey. Behind that, behind that, we have a set that I very much looked forward to before they came out. The Transformers and the older, I dare say original, and I don't know all the details, but I know that's Optimus Prime, that's Bumblebee, that's Soundwave, and that's Megatron. And then here we have one of the three Iconics kits that I built. Kawasaki Ninja, kind of out of place, but there you go. Moving down a bit more. Down front, we have the currently complete Batman collection with the two bat signals, one from the 90s movies and one from the newer movies. We have the original Batmobile from the 60s, the 89 movie Batmobile, the Batman vs. Superman or Dawn of Justice. We also have the Dawn of Justice Batwing. And then we have the Batwing that would sort of go with this Batmobile from the 90s. And behind that we have the currently complete Marvel Universe with Iron Man on the end, uh, War Machine, Captain America's Shield, Thor's Hammer, and I believe it's a Mark 45 helmet. And here we have a set that gets its own display, fills up the entire thing. We have the Star Wars starting with Slave One, Star Destroyer, AT-AT, Imperial Shuttle, and AT-ST or Chicken Walker, as I used to call it. If we move down, on this shelf up front, we have the Snow Speeder, the newer TIE Fighter, the Advanced TIE Fighter, and the older TIE Fighter. And back here we have the Snow Speeder, or Land Speeder, that wasn't actually in the movie cut, but you could see it in cutscenes on the Blu-ray. We have Kylo Ren's shuttle, we have the newer X-Wing fighters and the older X-Wing fighters. And going down one more shelf, we have the big R2. The R2 that isn't officially out for release, but if you know how, you can get a hold of it. And surrounding him, we have the Destroyer Droid, ever so tiny looking. Over here, we have the Millennium Falcon, also tiny looking. We have the tiny R2 next to the big R2. For here is the other Iconics kit, the first Iconics kit that I did, the Millennium Falcon, based a bit off of the newest movie, and very, very impressive kit. I really enjoyed it. And this is, was, the entire Star Wars collection until very recently. And last but not least, we have the ships that I usually, or the models that I usually keep down in the basement with my video gaming area, starting with up top. We have the Mass Effects kits with the Turian Cruiser here on the end, the SX-3 Alliance Fighter, the Normandy SR-2, and the Alliance Cruiser. And then if we move down on the shelf here in the center is the very wobbly Halo Guardian from Halo 5. That is, the only way that you can get it is through ordering the Halo 5 Special Edition something or another. I got lucky. I picked it up off of somebody else. Here on the end we have the Mantis and the UNSC Warthog. Here we have Master Chief's helmet and the Pelican. The UNSC Pelican here on the end. And on this shelf I just happen to have a number of models that I currently have and are waiting to get to Plus more to come. And there you go. That's all of the kits that I have that I think I've accounted for all of them. Because they are scattered around. And I didn't even count. So if you're paying attention, tell me, how many models do I have so far? And I've got even more sitting and waiting to be built that I just haven't gotten to them yet. And I'm hoping to get some more next week. Disney Store had a sale. Uh, the Disney Parks 
shop app. You know, they have exclusive kits for Disney Parks and three Star Wars kits. And I have ordered three Star Wars kits and a few of their, like, castles and the Haunted Mansion. So I'm waiting on them to arrive tomorrow, Friday. I'm expecting the Doctor Who kits to be available, as well as the C-3PO and the BB-8 and a number of others. But I have a C-3PO, BB-8, the four Doctor Who kits on reserve. I hope to receive an email tomorrow that I can send some money and they'll be here next week. So, more exciting things, more things for me to build and I'll never get caught up. That's okay. I enjoy building them. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Any requests, something you'd like to see me build. I have so many kits that I don't always have a direction. So, if there's something you won't see me build and I have it, I can put it together pretty quick. If I don't, I'll be glad to have another excuse to get it. Thank you for watching. Keep on keeping on. Thank you.